So somehow I've been in this community for nine years. I've had Logan on my radio show many times when I used to be on the radio, but this is my first time ever in this building. So it's magnificent when you walk in. Nice big foyer area and everything and it's a uh, how much goes on here Christina how busy is it this is a very busy building although it is probably not our busiest I think our busiest is probably the Logan Industries building out by the South Bend Airport but in this building we have um, what is sort of our main office area mm -hmm. um, and then on this floor we have adult day program services and then we also have those same services down on the lower floor when I first moved here, I was driving around the area and I, I just I kept on seeing these yard signs with a green dot in it. And I honestly didn't know what it meant. I actually, I thought it was something to do with like maybe people had sprayed down some kind of uh, <laughs> something. So I remember asking about it, what's this going on? And you still to this day have that. And mm -hmm. the nose on is probably the biggest fundraising event in the entire community or at least the most well known. Sure, absolutely. So we're coming on to 36 years. Uh, with the great Logan nose on. Mm -hmm. And so you're right, it is the most well-known fundraising event in the community. Um, however, our community has become a little more transient, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, in earlier days, people moved here and they stayed here for most of their life. And so we actually added the URL, thenoseon.org, under the green dot, just because we don't want to assume that people know yeah. exactly what it is, so. And I know that it's become so much more. I mean, we've got, you know, bracelets. What do you call these again? Not bracelets, um, armbands. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, was like, I was trying to think of the name <laughs> for like, a second. Bracelet, you, yeah. You've got so much more than just the nose on right we now. We do. Um, when did it expand from just being the nose to being a lot more? Well, so one of the things that we are trying to do is make sure that everyone in the community kind of has an opportunity to participate. Mm -hmm. And whether that's receiving a nose and, you know, kind of wearing a nose in a fun way or um, purchasing our popcorn or our green noses. It just kind of gives people the feeling that they're participating. Mm -hmm. This year is very interesting. It's our first year that we have a sponsor of Crow who is sponsoring the Green Noses. And what this means is because of Crow's generosity, 25,000 noses are already out in the community oh, wow. for free. Nice. So we used to sell them and, you know, gained proceeds that way. But, mm -hmm. you know, Crow said, nope, we want to make sure everyone who wants a nose gets a nose. <laughs> and so they generously sponsored. And uh, we've gotten 25,000 noses out in the community. This year, we also did something a little different. We wanted to kind of target fifth graders. Okay. I feel like fifth grade is a formative kind of year. And so um, what all these boxes are behind us are free nose-on merchandise that mm -hmm. are going to fifth grade classes nice. throughout South Bend and Mishawaka schools. So we are able to reach over 1,600 students with these free boxes full of nose-on merchandise and disability awareness information because we really want to make sure that we're targeting an age where they're going to really take it in and then retain it for life. Well, that's the thing, of course. It's not just about raising money. It's also about bridging the gap um, right. between the community and adults with intellectual disabilities sure. and um, whatever they have going on. Um, and, you know, one of the things, when you talk about the programs that go on here and you talk about Logan Industries up near the airport, what exactly is all the money going towards? Sure. So the Nozon raises money uh, for our general development fund. Mm -hmm. So it goes throughout Logan. And uh, we serve children and adults mm -hmm. with intellectual and developmental disabilities from birth to the end of life. Mm -hmm. So we are serving people through first steps in their very, very early days, all the way to people who are in hospice care and need protective services yeah. help. So we serve everyone in between and that money is going to help all of those people. And of course, uh, a big thing for people is, and every child is a blessing in my opinion, and, but obviously when people have children that might have Down syndrome or other intellectual disabilities, it can be very taxing on the parents. Right. I mean, having a child is taxing, sure. but having a child that has you know, different special needs can be really hard on them. Mm -hmm. So it's good respite for the families too. It is, absolutely, and you're right. We don't just serve the individual. We serve their entire yeah. family. We are a great resource for families in the community, for friends in the community, and, and really, um, we've had a lot of people tell us, I don't know what we do without Logan. 
Yeah, and of course, I, I always think about this as well from my time working with different nonprofits. There's also other siblings often who um, the child that has more needs gets more attention, and sometimes the other siblings are not forgotten, but a little bit get less attention. So sometimes, I guess, when the, the kids are here or the adults are here, it allows the family to focus on their other kids too, which is just a, a little small part of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I, I do want to point out what, what a great observation on your part. Our wellness program that recently started after we came back from COVID. Um, as of this year, it is a, an inclusive wellness program. So you can send your you know, second to sixth grader mm -hmm. who has an intellectual or developmental disability with their sibling. Mm -hmm. and, oh, nice. and the sibling can come and participate in the program and, and really kind of forge that bond. Mm -hmm. um, the sibling program is only for a specific age, but our wellness program goes all the way up to age 45. Awesome. I love that. And I love what you do in this community. And I know there's another event that's going on, which you have like a luncheon going on as well, right? Yes. March 26th, we mm -hmm. have the Great Logan Nose on Luncheon. It starts at noon. It's at the Century Center. It's really going to be a great time. You mm -hmm. will have the opportunity at that luncheon to purchase <laughs> our Nose on Socks, <laughs> like which it. we are super excited about. And the reason we're excited about them is because our speaker is John from John's Crazy Socks. <laughs> okay. And John is a young man with an intellectual disability. And when he um, got out of high school and kind of reached that age where they no longer receive services through um, the high school, he said to his dad, what, what am I going to do? Where am I going to work? Mm -hmm. And the dad said, well, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to work with you. <laughs> and so together, they started what is now the largest sock warehouse in the entire world. Wow. So these two guys are our speaker, and we are so excited about having them. That's great. And, and the most exciting part is it will help people in the community understand that hiring people with disabilities is not scary. Mm -hmm. John's Crazy Socks has an enormous number of people working for them with disabilities, and they give a good amount of their proceeds to the Special Olympics. I like that. And look, it's a great time of the year being Irish as well, St. Patrick's Day. I mean, you can get all this stuff and wear it on St. Patrick's Day too, if it fits right. in. So you can show off your love for the green and for Logan at the same time. Absolutely. But no, I, I, I do love that as well. And actually, as you talk about that, do you have programs for businesses locally um, to try and help them uh, employ people? We do. Come? Okay. Yeah, we do. Awesome. We offer employment services yeah. um, where we have clients who go out into the community and have part-time or full-time jobs. Mm -hmm. and, and part of the service that we offer is helping them find what they want to do mm -hmm. and then find where they want to work. And then um, we can go out into the community with them and be that job coach as mm -hmm. long as they need it. And some clients need it ongoing and some clients only need it for a short period of time. But we're not going to leave a client hanging. If they need help, we're going to be there to help them. And one of the things that I think employers constantly say is, oh, I, I didn't know that it was so easy. I, I didn't know how great of an employee this mm -hmm. person would be. And, um, and so we're really excited at how many people are willing to hire clients with disabilities. Good. I love that because I think of everyone having their own set of abilities. That's you know? right. And uh, don't say that in a patronizing way. I had a sister who had Down syndrome. I have a cousin who has Down syndrome. There's, you know, I know people and I don't say it in a way that's condescending sure. or speaking. Oh, they have their, like, no, they, like, they can bring a lot to the table. We all have our own set of yeah. abilities. We all have our own set of things that are not good as well. And if we all just see people for what they can bring, mm -hmm. then I think we could include people that come here a lot more in our community. So I love that correct. you're doing that. So yeah. thank you. <laughs> so when can people actually buy these? Are they already uh, available? Where can they buy them sure. as well? So you want to go to thenoson.org. Mm -hmm. And on that website, you can find a place to buy your socks, buy your candies. Um, and then also there are locations that are giving away the free noses. Nice. And then um, the luncheon again is March 26th? March 26th at noon at the Century Center. And tickets are also available at thenoson.org. Do you have to buy a whole table or can you buy individual no, tickets? No, you can or? buy individual tickets. But we have a lot of organizations, a lot of companies in our community who buy tables. So mm -hmm. you may end up just coming that way. Nice. And again, stuff like the candy, it's a great idea to actually buy a couple of them and then give them out to your friends. That's right. And spread the news. That's and right. Don't just spread the products, but spread the message of Logan That's as well. That's exactly so. right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you so much. Yes.